Hey guys, come with me and making my 16 millimeter project on this old Bolex camera. Um, these are the ones you have to like wind up to be able to record. Um, so first we're just using the Kodak 7266 Tri-X reversal film. Um, it has to be kept in complete darkness and loaded in like dim light so it doesn't expose the film. So to upload it, um, I'm just going to put it in here, but it has to be in a room that is completely dark. So after you loaded the film, you'll cut your lights back on and you'll just toss this. Um, but after the film is in there and all secured, you're fine, but do not throw this away because you're going to need to put it back once you're finished. Um, so have my camera set up on this tripod because it's very heavy by the looks of it it doesn't look heavy but it promise you it is um so yeah once i got my camera in the placement that i liked it i began working on my whiteboard in terms of like mapping out where the frame was on the board um and then i just outlined that in some yellow tape and then i have my standby expo marker wipes and trash things and my expo markers over there because i'm doing a stop motion yeah um, so now I was thinking about setting up my light meter, but I was like, I need to set up my light first. So I'll just do that first and just leave that right there. Um, after my light was set up, I can use my light meter. It took a lot of more Googling just to make sure my exposure was right because you cannot see this exposure until you have been, excuse me, until you have finally developed your film. Um, yeah. So this is me just winding the camera up to get started this is a long tedious process of like snapping pictures one at a time single frame <laughs> now that it's time to develop we are in the photo lab at the university of south carolina super cool um yeah so there's a process you're gonna load your film in the dark room you're gonna keep a piece to um, figure out your fixed time um like tear it off you're gonna process it wash it and dry it so you're gonna just put your film into our light tight tank, but remember, you have to do it in a dark room. Okay, and so now after all the film is in my tank, I can go ahead and start putting the liquid in our containers. But first, the first step is to wash your film. So it's just to get all the like, Now, depending on the temperature of your room, you can figure out how long you need to develop for, which was eight minutes. Um, and after I did all this process with the rest of my chemicals, I was ready to go dry my film. All right, and rack. <laughs> so now, after it dried over a day, I am back to go put my film back onto that little spool I told you not to throw away. It's called a daylight spool. I did split some of my film, so I had to go put it back together in our little, like, film piece or back together. Um, so you just pretty much cut both ends of your film to make them a, like, a nice, clean cut edge. Um, you're also splitting one of the frames in half so you can make one full frame when you put the two pieces together. And once you're all done, I kind of had a space in between, but yeah, you get the point. So now it's just a long, tedious process of rolling my film back up onto the daylight spool. Yes, it's a very tedious process because it's a hundred feet of film. 
can see I'm making some progress. Oh my god, it took forever. A little bit more progress. And this is when I hit the end. Thank god. <laughs> So now I'm going to work on loading the projector with my film, but first I'm going to put some leader on so it doesn't start right in the middle of my film. It can like have time to start up. You're just attaching it in the same way we fix our frames. And then you'll just put the spool up there and start to lace up the projector. In this video right here, I completely laced it up wrong, but you guys get the idea. Um, so to record your footage, um, we have a little setup. Um, so it projects onto that side and you record onto this side with the certain camera options um, and settings. So I go ahead and hit record before I hit, um, before I start my projector. And then I turn the lights off to get a better quality image. And then I start the projector. This thing gets very hot like very hot so then your image will come up here and you record on the other side showing this cute little stop motion thank you guys i'll see you on the next one